Mexico is a country full of culture, tradition and with a personalized image. That is why we present the 14 myths about Mexico and its people. Let's get started! Let's get it started in here, yeah. Although they are painted that way in different Hollywood cartoons and movies, the truth is that no Mexicans wear hats, and not all are dressed up like charros. Certainly, this clothing has its cultural value, and it's quite common to see people, mostly elderly men, using some kind of hat as part of their casual clothing, but it is more due to the yesteryear culture. The Mexican charro vestments tend to be worn only in certain typical parties and festivities of the nation. Another highly popular myth is that Mexico is nothing more than a huge desert. Well, the truth is that this nation belongs to a select group of countries called mega diverse, due to the high biological diversity that is present in its different ecosystems. And in Mexico, in addition to being an equatorial country, you can also find different reliefs such as mountains, jungles, deserts, savannas and forests. It is estimated that only in Mexico there is 10% of all the biodiversity on the planet. Another thing that many think when they heard the world Mexico, it's people traveling on horseback. This myth is dismantled just by looking at the huge highways full of cars that are drowned through the whole country. In fact, Mexico is one of the countries with the highest traffic index in urban regions in all Latin America. Another myth popularized by movies and television is that in Mexico there are only little towns. But the truth is that this country has many more urban than rural areas. In fact, it is estimated that Mexico City is the second largest city in the world with a population of more than 17 million inhabitants and the fourth city most inhabited worldwide. Although outside this country, Mexican food is usually associated only with dishes such as tacos and tamales, along with the strong spices, the truth is that Mexican food is one of the richest and most varied on the planet. In fact, in 2010, Mexican gastronomy was declared by the UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Thanks to this, Mexican food is currently considered a crucial element of national identity due to its history, creativity, diversity and meaning. The image of the Mexican macho is usually associated with a person who consumes a lot and a very strong alcohol. However, a report presented in 2017 by the World Health Organization, Mexico was ranked number 10 on the ranking of annual alcohol consumption per capita in all Latin America, with a total of 7.2 liters of alcohol per capita per year. Well, it is true that Mexico has one of the highest obesity rates in the world. In 2017, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development reported that at least 72.5% of the country's total population suffers from illnesses associated with a poor diet. Because of this, the Mexican government has taken steps to tax sugary beverages, to place bigger labels with nutritional information, and better regulation for foods advertised for children. But there are also lots of healthy people who love to work out and eat a balanced diet. There is a belief that in Mexico, all houses tend to have a rustic style, with hacienda style tiles. Well, to the surprise of many, Mexico has within its territories some of the largest and most modern cities in the world. In Mexico City alone, you can find huge buildings made of concrete, steel and glass such as the huge main tower, as well as some modern architectural wonders like the Somaya Museum. It is well known that mariachi music is part of the Mexican culture and tradition, and there are even places specifically dedicated to preserving this tradition. However, that does not mean that is the only music heard in this country. 
In general, there are many artists and groups of different musical genders whose career was born in Mexico and who are now very famous internationally, like Luis Miguel, Café Tacuba, or Thalia, just to mention a few. We have all heard about the ancient Mesoamerican indigenous civilizations that existed before the Spanish conquest. But at present, Mexico presents an extraordinary genetic diversity in its population, reaching the extreme that some Mexicans are genetically as different from each other as an European from a nation. Although in Mexico the first population group is the mestizo, which refers to people with an intermediate appearance between European and indigenous, there are also white Caucasian and to a lesser extent some indigenous ethnic groups with poor blood. It is also known that some American series and movies present the sale and consumption of drugs and alcohol as something common in Mexican culture. And even when locations appear in Mexico, suggest that there is no regulation on these substances in the country. However, this is not true. The legal drinking age is at least 18 years old and it is forbidden to do so on public roads. About drugs, they are simply illegal and even carrying a small amount can leave you to have an unpleasant trip to jail. In the same way, thanks to audiovisual culture, the Mexicans are usually represented as someone who wants to cross the border and live in North America, but it is nothing more than a stereotype. The truth is that it is not common to meet a Mexican who wants to leave his country. Although social inequality is a current problem of the nation, the majority of those who try to cross into the United States are those who live in a state of poverty in search of a better quality of life. This one is both true and false. It is well known that in the last decade, the Mexican government has worked what is known as the war against drug cartels. And although it's true that these actions have left several deaths in their way, also it's true that the situation has been greatly exaggerated by the international media, who have said that the country does not have stability and there is no internal peace. This is being totally false. According to the Peace Mexico Index report, in recent years there has been a 10% decrease in the crime rate and 8% in the organized crime in the country. Although Mexico has been characterized as a religious country that even Pope John Paul II visited in five occasions, not all the inhabitants are Catholics and not all believe in the Virgin of Guadalupe. According to data from the INEGI, on 2010, of the 112 million Mexicans, 4 million had no religion, while other 10 million profess another religion. And so we end this video about the myths of Mexico and its people. A great review about the culture of this beautiful country. Remember to leave a comment and like the video. Share it on your social networks so that this information reaches more people. And thank you for watching!